you think? Uh, I think it's a sad, sad day in American industry. Uh, it seems like all of our uh, resources for industrial bases for this country has gone down to tubes. Mm -hmm. I feel that all we're doing in this country now is making asphalt. <laughs> How long did you work at Sparrows? For? 40 years. 40 years? I'm on the road looking at the destruction or the demolition of what was once the, a tower here that went almost 37 stories up to the sky. And now look at it. It's all rumble. And my understanding is that this entire area would be raised to the ground in a matter of years. You can see the train tracks, all that's left, and the carriages, they were not touched. The demolition of an area that was once very popular and employed thousands of people here at Sparrows Point. started there? I was 18 right out of high school. Wow. I went down for a summer job. I was going to continue my college, but I ended up working 12-hour shifts seven days a week mm -hmm. in a hot furnace, pulling bricks out, wearing wooden shoes, catching on fire, 45 minutes in, 45 minutes out. Made a lot of money, supported a family, bought new cars, new homes, and done very well there. Is that what made you stay 40 years? Uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> It's well, all about the money, you know. Right. So yeah, right. So how are your uh, your colleagues doing? I mean, I, I imagine that you moved up the ranks. A lot of them are, are very devastated. That was their main source of income right. to provide for their families. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it's it's been devastating for a lot of us. Of course, when R. G. Steel, Ira Rennett, took over the plant, uh, he guaranteed us that we wouldn't be profitable, successful, and possibly even uh, even doing more renovations and modernizations, which turned out to be, he ended up screwing so many vendors out of millions of dollars. I was still employed the month of August. Found out afterwards that around August 5th that I had no more benefits. My health care was gone, my dental plan was gone. So knowing that they were shutting down around November, I went, took all my family to the dental to get all dental work done, medical work done, ended up having to pay about four thousand dollars in medical bills while I was still working mm. for RG Steel. Mm. Uh, Ira Rennett is renowned to bankrupt corporations like that. Somehow he leaves this bankrupt corporation, destroys the vacation pays, severance pays, whatever he can do to rip everyone off, and he comes out smelling like a rose. There's no, uh, no, no penalties on his company mm -hmm. and it seems like he's been very successful in doing this not that I'm crying about it for the long run but it just seems unfair for a corporation to bankrupt a, a steel industry who was viable built America without them the munitions during World War II would have never been manufactured the Liberty ships Blah, 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 the Golden Gate Bridge, the Empire State Building, all the steel industry. Now what do we have? So what do you think they're going to do now that they're... Oh, it's going to be uh, environmentally friendly now. We're going, to, we're going to probably do organic kale and vegetables down there in the next three or four years. You know, there'll be no issue with any environmental problems. I mean, of course, the benzene, the toluene, the xylenes are all leaching over in Anne Arundel County, but that'll all be overlooked. So what do you hope for besides um, your comments there just now? What do you really hope for? What do I hope for? Uh -huh. I really have no, no opinion on what I'm hoping for as far as that plot of land down there. Mm -hmm. uh, so what has this done to the Dundal community? I think we're all surviving. We're all survivors in eastern Baltimore County. Yeah. Uh, it's been a transition, it's been a transition. but we're all successful and uh, keeping our heads above water.